Well, you know, I I haven't played the game. I've only seen I've only seen it, and you know, from I mean, these guys at Treyarch are incredible. You know, I mean, the jobs they do, the technical work that that is put into this, and the hours upon hours, and the hundreds of people that, that man hours that go into creating this game is just I was just blown away, speechless. So, um, uh, you know, it looks amazing. It looks amazing. I haven't gotten to play it. You know, I just uh, I did some mocap mo stuff in it, but, um, you know. <laughs> What's your favorite memory you can share from Black Ops 2? Wow, my favorite memory. There's so many, there's so many. Um, but there's, yeah, I can't be specific, unfortunately, because I'll, I'll give away some a plot point, but, uh, there, there, there are so many, and you know, I walked away from this experience knowing that I had just finished working on uh, one of the most amazing projects I've ever been a part of. And speaking of that, how is it? Well, how has being involved in the Call of Duty franchise impacted your life so far? Yeah, I mean, you know, hey, so far, uh, uh, you know, I've gotten, uh, I'm humbled by, you know, being in in um, in this company. In, in the company of these people, uh, of the people here, at Treyarch and, and Activision, and uh, and you know, I'm really grateful to be given this opportunity. Um, as far as you know, uh, fans and all that, that that hasn't happened yet, you know. But uh, we'll see after November 13th, you know. Are you good at Call of Duty? You mentioned your son. Do you play with him at all? Yeah, but he kicks my butt, man. You know, I I play. I play, but they're, they're, these guys are serious, man. There's some guys out there that are no joke. My son being one of them. Um, you know, he loves to snipe, and he's really good. He's really good, and he learned these maps so quick, these kids. They're like, you know, and that's, I think that's the, you know, the key. But the fun part about this game is, um, you know, you're going to be able to choose the outcome. And there are so many different endings, you know, depending on what you choose. You know, and that's... That in itself is, I think, first of its kind for this franchise, I think, yeah. And hey, what did you find interesting about the development of the new Black Ops game? Um, well, I, you know, I, I had no idea the, the man hours that, were, that, that go into developing a video game and, and, you know, two years in the making. You know, I, I just, you know, and the every, all the specifics and all the different, you know, all the different departments. And, and when I first took my tour of, uh, took a tour of Treyarch, I was just floored. I was floored. Um, you know, you walk through the zombie department or you walk through the, the you know, the artillery or the gun department or the weapons department. And, and, uh, and it, it's amazing the amount of research that goes into this to making it lifelike perfect i mean it's 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 right there man it's right and, there and uh, what's your own video game background did you play a lot of your games growing up i did I, you know growing up i was you know I, I i played everything from uh space invaders to asteroids and um pac-man and those kind of video games and then for for a while there i got into the whole you know the madden games for a while i was a football guy and i also played mlb and um, and then I get, got away from it because, you know, I'm one of these guys, I, I enjoy playing them. And I enjoy these single shooters too, you know, for sure. For sure, I enjoy them. And if, you know, if it were up to me, I, you know, I'd be 12 hours into it. And, you know, but I got, you know, I got other responsibilities. <laughs> and my wife wouldn't be too happy if I was spending 12 hours a day playing a video game, you know. What do you, uh, is it, how crazy do you think it is how far video games have come since Space Yeah. Years? Jeez, it's incredible. I mean, I, 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 I can't say enough. Like I said, you know, the, they bring these things to life. I mean, they, I, I, I couldn't believe that my performance actually translated. And, you know, I, I, I just couldn't believe it. When I saw myself in that video game, it's, it's me. It's everything I did on that floor. And I was really, you know, at first I was, I was kind of fearful that it wasn't going to be captured. You know, there was going to be a limit. But really, there's not. It's incredible. What, what, what is it like seeing yourself and hearing yourself in a video game? Yeah, again, it, you know, the other day I saw it for the first time, a lot of it for the first time, and I was, I was just rendered speechless. I was. I, I, I didn't know how to describe it. I, you know, my wife is coming down today to, to, 
to see it. And uh, I can't wait for her to see it and experience what I experienced, because I really was, I was rendered speechless. And uh, last question is, where would you like to see Black Ops go next? Um, I don't know, wherever it does go, I'll leave that to the creative department, but wherever it does go, it better involve Raul Menendez.